I go, I go, I get something off my chest. I know this is gonna come on YouTube, and I know it's not gonna get many watches or whatever. You know, I need to open out. You know what I mean? I, I, I know I have severe mental health issues and acoustic. You know, I close my eyes when I speak. It's got a bit hard. I got issues with my ex girlfriend. You know, my ex partner. I do miss her a lot, but you know what I mean? It's um, I, I tried. You know, I tried help myself you know when i was with her i was severely unwell very severely unwell i end up in hospital twice and section seven times on a mental health act yeah section seven times yeah um i i for the last i i i'm i'm quite well now because i i i had i got help for it and i tried and tried because I lost someone important in my life to, you know, I lost someone important, you know, I mean, I lost something so important in my life, you know, and I wish I could have back, I wish I could go back, man, but I can't change it because I was severely unwell. I would change parts of it being uh, very well so I can treat that person right, you know what I mean, that like ex-partner, but I was suffering from, uh, I was suffering from psychosis and, uh, Severely mental health, you know, self harming. You can see on my arm, you know. Uh, I, 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 I have suicide thoughts every day, wanting me to hurt other people, uh, hurt everyone, and hurt anyone. You know what I mean? I, I even told my ex partner I wanted to hurt her. I didn't want to hide it. I didn't want to hide the fact that I'm hiding mental illness, man. I wanted to bring it out so I don't end up like people actually murdering someone down the fucking street and end up going to prison and wasting their whole life, you know what I mean? As people that don't speak out and they just go for it. I'd rather speak it out because I'm not scared to speak this out. If you've got something severe mental health issue and you want to hurt other people, don't hide it because it's worse to hide in it, right? I wish I never spoke to it, my ex-partner because it feels like that. I, you know, if I wish I didn't say it because... My ex partner thinks I'm dangerous, you know, I think I'm a danger but I hurt the dogs, you know what I mean? Hurt the dogs and things. I've just I have got severely uh acoustic uh severely problems, you know. Uh I tried, you know, I tried to help her that particular one person that I loved in my whole life, you know. I I mean my mental health in my mental health stuff is like it's really, really, really bad, you know. Uh it's not as bad now because, you know what I mean, I, I lost my speech when I was in hospital and I lost it. But I lost my speech, uh, I lost my speech in hospital because, I don't know, because I, I, I couldn't cope. I, I couldn't cope, you know what I mean, I couldn't cope. I, uh, you know, I lost my important people in my life that because of my mental health, you know, I lost bare people in my life and I, I don't have no one in my life that care as much as that person that used to be in my life as care caring and and understanding but she had enough you know what I mean she couldn't cope with it until that end because she couldn't cope until it got better but I am better now you know I mean I, 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 I tried I, I fucking tried you know I fucking fucking tried I mean with the fucking mental health and shit, like, I was going crazy, like, you know, I can't help it, I couldn't help it, I couldn't, I couldn't breathe in my own fucking breath, like, I couldn't even go out, because I thought I was going to hurt people, you know what I mean, and I, I miss my ex-partner, you know what I mean, something important in my life, I don't have nothing in my life, I don't do anything, because I don't even have a job, because I, because of, you know, I've been going through a lot of uh, severely mental health shit, uh, issues and stuff. I know this is going to bring it on social media, but it's fucking hard, you know. Opening out with your mental illnesses, man. I have severely mental issues, yeah. But it's not as bad as it when it was back in 2016 when I was in hospital twice in a row. And sexing seven times on a mental health act. And getting accused of me hurting my dog. I even admitted, I admitted to her, look, I wanted to hurt you, but I wouldn't do it, you know what I mean? It's just telling them so it doesn't happen. And I have tried, you know. Uh, I don't even know where my life is at anymore. I mean, 
suffering so very bad and don't understand anything and I, I want to open out the people that are struggling with their mental health issues that open out and if they're having problems with their relationship and stuff don't hide it keep it out even if you lose your partner man you don't care like my partner that didn't care I mean, she did care but she didn't care enough to know that I was going through a hard time in a situation that I no one wouldn't want to be in I was in that fucking severely bad you know i didn't know what i was doing i i i tried you know i tried to be the bad person to help that person that like me and love me who the i am i didn't hide the fact i didn't hide anything about me i thought because if your partner don't hide anything about you i didn't hide anything about me i didn't hide anything you know I didn't want to hide anything. Why do you want to hide something, man? A relationship is supposed to be opened out with everything. I opened out with everything. But she cared enough until the end. But she didn't care that much. Because she would still be here by my side right now. Being with a good side of me very well. Good things in life don't come in easy ways. It takes a hard... It, you take hard time before you get the easy side, you know. But I, I, this my ex partner should understand. Yeah, I was severely ill, and she disliked me because I, I had fucking issues that I couldn't fucking understand. Or I couldn't cope. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't do anything. I, I tried. You know, I had fucking. I tried killing myself and the shit. I, I tried doing everything. You know. I have, I have help now. I do have help, but I didn't have the right sort of help that likes me and understands me who I am. And my ex partner doesn't understand that all of this issues. It's not, it's not right. You know, it's not. You know, I, I didn't mean to do anything. You know, I made my mistakes. I did make my mistakes. I did push my ex partner. I did push my ex partner, and I did get severely uh, mental you know what I mean I did you know I, I admit, admit but I never fall on hit her you know fall on beat her up fall on beating my ex-partner up why would I want to fall on beat up someone like that I mean I I can't do that I, I don't want I don't I don't hit people unless they hit me first even my ex-partner hits me but that's my ex-partner but I don't hit go but if someone hits me the only way to me to beat you up is to, if someone hits me or I got torn to be a twat to me, you know what I mean? But I would never lend a proper finger on my ex partner, ever. Even though I was severely fucking ill and I was trying to get myself up and I was trying to fucking help myself, you know, I tried, you know. She didn't understand. I was trying. I was, I was severely ill. I was very. I was very bad. I didn't even know, understand anything because it was it was so hard. It was the most difficult place in my whole entire life. It was the most difficult thing. It started to get better, but I don't have that important person in my life anymore. You know what I mean? That important person that was love, man. She didn't tear it stayed until the end. You know, it's not right, man. I don't have family that here to help me out either. No. It's hard, you know. I I'm opening out like family members and family members and you know don't understand me at all. The only person who to understand me is by my side, but then I lost her, you know. I lost someone so important in my life and I couldn't cope. I was just telling you, man. It's nothing to do with me hurting you out, nothing, man. It was me. Me trying to find myself to get better to help you. At first, when I got with you, I was not so silly. I was unwell, but I started getting worse and worse every single day, doing nothing, doing at all, man. And I tried to get us to meet people, but my mental my anxiety was so fucking bad, and I started losing my speech and I started slurring. I got, I got, I, I got sixtustic. I, I got autism. You know, it's bad. You know. I, I'm quite bad, you know. I'm not as bad as now because I'm I'm getting better. I feel like I am getting better. I'm making myself feel healthy, going to the gym and everything, you know what I mean? Going to the gym, get myself out there. But I can't 
get in another relationship and trust someone. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't trust someone now. You know, because I thought this girl like loved me that much would stick with me, even how bad I got. You know, I, I tried. You know, I tried to look more attracted to her. I tried to get tattoos and stuff to make her love me even more, but it didn't work. It just failed. You know, she. You know, I tried, you know, I mean, but me, my, my place where I am now, I'm not, I don't like how I am now. I don't have a lot of money. I do not work. I try to do things, you know, I try to go to the gym. I try to get a job and everyone looks at you like, uh, he's worthless and everything. It, only because I'm not rich or a famous fucking person. It doesn't mean shit, you know, I mean... Come on, I I have I have tried my hardest to get better, but I am better now. My ex partner means so much to me, you know what I mean? But she doesn't realise that she's supposed to be attracted to someone to love someone. No, it's not, man. It's not doing your personality. If you didn't like it when I was with you because I was severely ill, you've got to understand that. You said yourself you would stick with me even how hard it gets get. It got so difficult with you and you couldn't cope. You, you you went to London and done a lot of bad things. You know, I missed you and I was that bad. I wanted you at home until I got better. When you were, you know, I wanted my ex-partner to stick with me until I got a little bit better and feel safe. I didn't feel safe in myself, you know. I got worried, you know. I didn't, I wanted us to see your friends, you know. But I just got worried. I just felt really unsafe. I felt safe when you were right next to me and helping me out to get better. It takes a long time, to get a severely mental health issue person to get better. You know, after losing her back in last year, I got severely, you know, severely, you know, severely, severely bad, you know, really, really bad, you know. I, I mean, uh... But when I lost her, I got bad, you know. I, I tried, you know. But me, um, I tried so hard, you know. Losing my ex-partner, losing myself, losing the family that actually cared, you know. Apparently I was psychotic. I couldn't go down and do a case because I was so really psychotic because every public was at risk and everything was at risk. Life is hard, you know. Mental health issue is a real issue in the world, you know. When when you can't cope, you can't help anyone. You can't. You make everything more worse than it really is. I wish I didn't have mental health issues while I was with my ex partner. I was so happy, but I was severely ill, trying so hard to cope. I love my animals. I did love her. I did push her when I was in her, when I was in her, I did push her on her, I didn't fall and beat her up, so, I, I hope you get this message, having mental health like this, it's not, it's not an easy task, it's difficult, it's the worst, worst two years of my whole entire life, going out the window, hopefully you don't understand, you know, you know what I mean, I wish I could get her back to understand and show her the way that how I am now. She's the bad side of me. She's in the bad side of me because I was ill. I couldn't show my good side because I couldn't cope. I was I felt unsafe everywhere where I go. But now I'm well. I hope I get her back. But I don't think she want me back. Because if she I think she's on about someone else. But, you know, I hope people understand the mental health issue. Don't hide it. Speak it out as fast as you can. Get the people that you love in your life. Tell them that. Make the mental health people. Tell them. You get better. Keep taking the medication. It doesn't get good at first, but why in a year later? It's an issue. <laughs> Get help, honestly, it will help you. I wish I got help at the beginning before I got with my ex-partner. You know, I would have done a lot. So, uh, peace out. I'll get on in.